I'm going to be talking about common gateway interface. This is a, uh, it's a known of as CGI, and it's the process of putting an executable written in whatever language you choose, as long as it's executable, onto the server to be able to process your requests. Instead of using a server-side script, you'll have an executable of some kind. Uh, there are certain specifications on how that talks to the on how that talks to the server, how the server talks to it, and how it's expecting to talk back to the server. The browser or whatever client will call that server. The server will then call your CGI executable. Your CGI executable will run, return back to the server. The server will then return back to the client. The interaction between the server and the uh, CGI executable is what this video is face is what what this video is is focused on. Things you need to do with that CGI executable. It needs to be given execute permissions, and it needs to have uh, it needs to also have it enabled on your server to have CGI permissions where it's running. Um, on Apache, you need to enable uh, need to enable the CGI module and some other things in there, and make sure it's got execute CGI permissions. Um, you might have to enable actions module, and then restart the server, and then you'll be able to start running your CGI executables. Um, the action is going to depend on whether or not you actually need an action directive in your configuration. If you're able to run your CGI by calling it directly and not using the action, if that works to get it to run, usually you need an action in there. Uh, but sometimes you can just set the handler to be CGI-script. So it's got to be executable by the file system. It's got to be executable by the server. And then it's going to receive its information most of it's going to be passed through environment variables. It's got a whole bunch of environment variables that will send it the query string and a bunch of other information that you can use on that. Uh, and the any form submissions are going to be sent through the standard input stream. Then your CGI program will process that and you will send your output and that is very specific the format that you need to use. You need to have your headers uh, such as content dash type colon space whatever your mind type is that you're returning and any other headers that you want. If you want to send cookies, you want to send a content dash length, whatever you want to do, uh, you need to be able to have that on the first portion of your output, then you're going to have a double line drop, and then you will have your content that you're actually sending. Your HTML page, your XML document, your plain text file, your image, whatever your output is supposed to be that goes to the browser, that the browser is supposed to display, comes after that double line drop. So that's how a CGI program is supposed to work. Your program needs to conform to that. It needs to read the environment variables, not the not the command line arguments. It's looking for environment variables. It's going to look for the standard input for any of the form submissions or file uploads, and then uh, and then do the output with the headers, double line drop, content. So here's a sample of your output with where I talked about, you know, where that content type is required. It without that content type and that double line drop in there, this is not valid. The content length, you can get away without having that. You can get away without having the HTML. You just have zero length, but you've got to have a double line drop before you at least end out. So, you know, if I didn't want to have anything down here, if I was going to have a content length of zero. I would still need to have a double line drop after the end of my last header for this to work. Thank you for watching.